Okay, here's Rhinos. Hey, Rhinos, got your uh, got you got you here then. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go with c4. Play the English opening. Knight f6. Let's go knight f3. E6. Let's go d4. Now we kind of switch back into a d4 opening here. Hey, doggy style 007. Thanks all for the follow. I saw you in the chat there earlier. Uh, now knight c3. Now it's kind of like a queen's gambit declined. We're going to end up exchanging here. Play bishop to g5. Play queen c2. Play e3. Pretty normal opening setup for both sides here. Play bishop to d3. Retreat this guy. b6, okay. Mm, I feel like b6 is a little bit too early. Usually you play c6 before you play b6. So I'm playing knight to b5 here. I believe this is the way to answer this. Threatening the c7 pawn, knight takes c7, big threat. He can't play c6 because I take with my queen, so he has to play c5 at this point. Okay, now we play bishop to g3, threatening knight to c7, and we're also threatening bishop to c7 to trap the queen. Now, there's no good way to guard both things, so white's picking up some material here, at least. So, this one really just comes down to b6 being too early. You have to play c6 or a6 before playing b6 to stop the knight b5 idea. Um, so, after bishop to b7, we are playing knight to c7, just to pick up the exchange, I believe. I don't think there's nothing with bishop c7. So, knight c7 picking up the exchange. Pick up the rook next move, get castled, and we're... Uh, we're doing pretty good there. Alright, he takes on d4. If I take back on d4, he's going to play rook c8, which is a little awkward. So we're actually just going to take on a8, I believe. He can hear my commentary? Yeah, he can hear my commentary, but there is a little bit of a delay at least. Um, at least a little bit of one. So um, we're going to play knight takes d4 here. Knight c5. All right, now we're just castling. We're up the exchange. Kind of a uh, not so great for Rhinos at this point. Knight e4. Okay. Uh, probably just playing like b4 here, maybe, or f3. Mm. Eh, let's just play. Let's just play rook c1. Eh, let's just play bishop f4. I'm sorry. I keep getting my ideas all mixed up. So bishop f4. We're just gonna keep one pair of, or keep one bishop on the board at least. Play rook to c1. All right, knight takes d3. Uh, we're just going to take back. We're threatening the queen, so bishop a6 doesn't work. So he has to move the queen somewhere, and then we can play like f3 or something like that. Even rook c7 might come next move. So he has to go back to a8. Yeah, he has to go back to a8. Kind of uh, unfortunate. Um, not sure why this keeps popping up. Okay, so he's back on a8. Uh, I think we're just gonna play. Mm, just knight to. Uh, let's play f3. Just kick this knight around a little bit. Knight c5. Just play queen c2. Or 
rook d1. He was threatening my bishop or my my rook. Now we just want to keep the d3 square covered a bit. Next move, I might have b4 and then b5. Hey, how's me? How's it going? All right, we're playing b4 here. Kicking that uh, knight around. See where that decides to go. Knight retreats. Okay, that's fine. We can just take. Rook takes. Now he is threatening to kick this bishop and then take the e3 pawn, which we don't really want to allow. Um, I'm going to play b5. Looks a little weird. It looks like he can just grab it, but I have queen c8 check and exchanging queens after that. Now, once the bishop is kicked back a bit, we now just play queen to d2. Keep this pawn defended. Going good. Rating pass 700. Now, so up 150 since the start of the series. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations. That's very awesome. Great to hear. Uh, let's go rook c7 to kick this bishop around, I believe. Bishop has to go back to a8, pretty much. Okay, or we can exchange rooks. That's fine with me, too. Queen takes, and I think we're just playing rook c1. Rook c7 next move is the idea again. Hey, Fibunk Zero, uh, thanks a lot for the follow too. Hope you're enjoying it as well. Okay, we're just trading pieces, playing queen d4 to trade queens. Maybe queen c3 was a little better, but at this point it doesn't make too big of a deal. Uh, just play g3. Just get our king a little closer. Play rook to... Uh, well, we're, let's just play rook c2. Keep the pawn defended. Okay, now we're just going to check and see what he decides to do. Go back to c3. Threatening queen c7, exchanging pieces. How long do I play? Uh, I play from about 2 o'clock Eastern Time till about 5 o'clock Eastern Time on stream. So... Right now it's 3.20 Eastern Time, so about another little over an hour and a half uh, left for today. Um, Alright, we're going back to c7. Or oh, we're going down to c7, offering the queen exchange. He pretty much has to accept it. I don't see any way to decline it. Or else, if he doesn't accept it, I just pick up the bishop. Okay, so let's analyze this one. Good game, Rhinos. What if uh, you play a GM who tries the same challenge? That would be pretty interesting. Um, that could happen. I'm not entirely sure what I would do there. I, I just I wouldn't know. I would just play him. <laughs> okay, so the opening's pretty standard by both sides. His main mistake is this b6 move. You have to play c6 or a6 before playing b6. If you play c6 and then b6, now I don't have knight to b5 anymore. Um, that's what it really comes down to. Or if you play a6, castle, you could also play b5 or just back to b6. I don't have knight b5 anymore. Um, when you go b6 immediately, I can play knight to b5, and now this is very difficult to defend. Even if you play bishop d6, you're still going to lose a pawn, because I go here and attack that. You go here, I take... And then, you know, take, take, and I'm just up a pawn that way. So after knight to b5, you're losing some kind of material in some way. After c5, it's bishop g3. Main threat is bishop to c7, trapping the queen. Secondary threat is knight c7. You can't stop both of those. For example, even if you play rook f8, which looks like it gives the queen move, uh, queen room to move, I still play bishop c7, queen here, and then knight d6, take, take, and I'm still picking up the exchange. Um, knight d6 threatening the queen, so you have to get rid of it. Um, and I'm still picking up the exchange, so pretty much unavoidable to lose some kind of material on that square. 
Knight c7, take, 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 take. And now I'm just trying to convert my uh, position up, a, up the exchange uh, while not making any silly mistakes at the same time. I played b5 because if he takes with or if he takes the pawn, I can trade off queens. And I can still pick up the d5 pawn anyways. So I'm really not I lose the b5 pawn, but I win the d5 pawn. So I'm not losing material. Um, but bishop b7, queen d2, trade off rooks, trade off pieces, and eventually we kind of trade off queens. And even after trading queens off, this bishop's gonna get trapped. And the bishop is still trapped, so I'm going to be up a full rook at the end of the day. How do I feel the challenge is going? Do I think I can make it by the end of the month? Um, 